Okay, now in case you're a beginner trader, I'm going to be showing you on how you can use MT5. So MT5 is basically the easiest trading platform and you need it, okay? So let's get to the charts and then we shall see. Not the charts, let's go to MT5, all right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now the first step is installing the app on your iOS or Google Play Store, okay? So just go over and type in MT5, okay? And uh, there we go, so I'll quickly go over here and install that. In the meantime, as I mentioned, MT5 is literally the easiest um, trading platform that you can use. Other traders do use set trading, view stuff, but we're going to see how easier it is to use MT5. So go ahead and click open. Now, when you open this, it's going to look, I don't want notifications. So um, go ahead and click accept. And yep, open up a demo account. Okay, and in case you do not know what a demo account is, this is much more of like a practice account. No money to be deposited, no nothing, but just practice, all right? So it's free, all right? Let's go. Okay, so go ahead and click open up a demo account. In here, you could just fill in, you know, whatever. I'll just type in my first name, Daniel. Then uh, I'll just leave that. Date of birth, I'll keep that. Mobile phone, I'll just type in. Okay, that's enough. Oops. Yeah. Well, there are seven, four, five, two, three, four. Mm, is that correct? Must. Holy Christ. One, two. Okay. Oops, plus two, five, four, then seven, yes. Then email, fill in your email address, I'll try something, a Gmail, oops. Now you need just fill in your details, which is pretty easy. These are just for the video, these are not my real details, so don't mind that, okay? Oops, I'll quickly do gmail.com. All right, um, click accept and yep. What else could be remaining? We have the leverage, one to a hundred. Leverage is pretty much, um, it's, it's given to you to double up or triple up your account, like depending. And I'll, I'll actually show you how that works in a few, okay? And now we can click register and let's go. So we should now have our first trading account fully set. There we go. So we now have it fully set. So the ones that you see here, AUD card, AUD CHF, blah, blah, and all that, those are called trading, rather currency pairs, okay? Currency pairs, why? Because we have AUD card. That means that two currencies. We have AUD, which is the Australian dollar, with a Canadian dollar, all right? Now, how do you notice? We have this option here called COTS. COTS is just another word for currency pair, all right? Then we have next option, which is the chart, okay? So the chart should reflect off here. Let's wait. I know my network is slightly slow, but um, yep, should load in a few. And um, in the meantime, next up, we have trade. Trade is why your trades are going to reflect if, say, you opened up a trade. We have the balance, we have the equity, we have the free margin. You'll see how that looks when we enter trade. Then we also have, okay, this option here, history. That's where all your positions are going to reflect. Whether profit or loss, they're all going to reflect here. And then we have lastly, settings. Settings off here, this is why you're going to go ahead and add any trading accounts, okay? Click over here, then click on the plus. Say you have a broker. And actually for the broker that I use, the link is just down in the description. You can go ahead, click that, and you'll open up a trading account. So pretty easy, we now have that. There we go, the chart is finally reflecting. So this is how the chart looks like. So quick recap, we have quotes for currency pairs. Whichever pair you want to trade, come over here. And let's say you want to trade AUD card, you could tap into it and then click on chart. And there you go, you have that, all right? Now, over here on top, if you guys can see, we have M1. We call those time frames, okay? So you see we have M1, M5, M15, and a lot. So you can always twist around and see. What do these time frames mean? Well, it means it takes 
for example we are currently on the h1 so it takes one hour for each candlestick to form all right you could go to m15 so it takes 15 minutes for each candlestick to form then this is just a tool that you're going to use to move around the uh, the price all right then the f is for indicators okay you could select any indicators that you'd want to use you've heard of moving averages so just tap into moving average and set that okay then we also have oops sorry we also have this option here these are the objects you can use these to analyze now let me give an example of say a trend line so if you have a trend line you could just draw that you see that pretty easy and you have a trend line you can also use other shapes say you want to use oops say you want to use a rectangle click over there come to objects and then select say a rectangle and there you go you have it okay so those are pretty much objects that you're going to use in your analysis okay now how do you place your first trade by the way, be sure you subscribe and like, okay? So placing your first trade is really, really easy. So you see we do have, I'll just put this here, okay? So you do have this button. No, you guys won't be able to see. So we have this button off here, all right? So we have uh, sell and buy, all right? Then in the middle here, we have 0 0.01. This figure here is called the lot size, okay? So you can either decide to use, say, 1 or 10, depending. Please remember your lot size is going to vary according to your trading account. You can't be trading with a thousand dollars and use 10 lots. Nope. I'm using that because look at my balance. I have over a hundred thousand. So I'll go ahead and click say buy. So you have to accept the terms and conditions. Click accept and then click buy. There we go. So we now have our first trade set and this is how it's looking. All right. Then next up, um, if you wanted to close the trade, it's really easy. Just swipe on this uh, on the left. Then you have this and say close whatever with the loss. Or on the other side, you could just long press and click on close position. There are very, very many options. Okay. Then on the app this way, you can easily set your stop loss and take profits by tapping in two rather tapping at where you entered the price uh, rather the trade from oops i'll try that again click where you entered the position from why is that not working oh i see it's working so when you tap into that then down you'll have stop loss and take profit so say click stop loss oops i'll do that again say you click stop loss and then you can drag this level to whichever area you'd want your stop loss to be and then click modify and you have it pretty easy same thing for your take profit click over there and come to take profit then drag it to whichever area you'd want and then click modify and you have both set so it's pretty pretty much easy so uh to do any changes if say you wanted to change or customize your chart just come, uh, click on the screen then come to settings and yep Come over to colors, all right, and then here you can change almost everything. So it's pretty, pretty much so, so easy on using MT5. And as I mentioned, this is the easiest trading platform, all right. We also have Trading View. Let me see if I do have Trading View. There we go. Trading View is also good, but I would say it's slightly complicated for beginners, all right. So I would definitely prefer. Um, mt5 okay we also have mt4 but it's not advanced as how mt5 is if you haven't liked the video be sure you like okay and subscribe and down in the description we have a link that is going to take you to the free telegram channel where i have over eighty thousand traders just like yourself and you'll be able to trade with us all right and uh keep it less talk and more action let's go cheers i'll see you in the next one let's go